Greetings, travellers. Welcome to the Alt Vault. This is the Alt Vault podcast. My name is Jamie Rogers. I am with my good friend, Anthony Gibbons. Gibby? Hello. Gibby is my How full name. It's my legal full name. I've, I'm changing it. To just, just one Gibby. word. The artist like, formerly... You know, Beyonce, own. Zendaya, Gibby. That's it. That's, that's nice. Yeah. I mean, I'm technically not a Jamie, really. I'm a James. So yeah, you hate that, don't you? First light, I do hate that. I'm named after Thomas the Tank Engine characters, which is rather depressing. I thought so... you were going to say I'm named after Thomas the Tank Engine. I'm called James. I was like, how does that work? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm named after a, a train and named the wrong one. Uh, <laughs> not even the main character of trains. But uh, yeah, it's um, my middle name is <laughs> Edward, which is rather like, well, I've we had some uh, weird... we had a we had a very interesting interaction about middle names, didn't we? We did, we did. Uh, the, if, uh... the old the old vault the old vault has a history at two thousand trees of finding another Jamie who fake Jamie didn't have a middle name. Yeah, who is and, who's probably watching uh... this? Shout out to fake Jamie. Hello. Shout out to fake Jamie. Hello. You are never going to be as good as me, uh, and uh, I stay alive in spite of you um <laughs> no no but generally not, um, that was that was I, that was one of the moments where like i am so glad i was recording that i just happened to just film something and we ended up with one of the greatest clips we've ever gotten i did not know when at 2000 trees that was filmed you could not have middle names like properly i assumed it was just you have your first name really? you have your surname and then your parents between uh, the pair of them pick a middle name just assumed it was because i would argue if you don't have a middle name then you i don't have a middle name so be careful what you say next well well my sister has two middle names so therefore i would argue she has no middle names because the middle name yeah. is the one in the middle she's yeah. just doubled up on her first and last name yeah um but it, but it's like it's a nice little alias. It's kind of like a weird nickname that your parents unintentionally I mean, some people do choose. Give you. Yeah, some people do choose to go by the I middle name, don't they? Didn't know it was something you could choose not to have at yeah. all. <laughs> I mean, I go. couldn't imagine you going. I couldn't imagine you being an Edward. I couldn't imagine you calling calling you Edward. Can Eddie. you imagine me being a James? Though? I mean, Eddie's bad. Eddie, uh, Eddie Rogers. Eddie Rogers does sound like a stunt man that's failed yeah. in his career, and I'm not just saying, not just because Eddie the Eagle is you know a thing, but I just yeah. And Did Ed, you see Ed, Ed Rogers do the jump the other day? Well, Ed Rogers sounds like a comedian. Yeah. Like a stand-up comedian. Yeah. Well, I'm not a stunt man. Uh, I'm not funny, but I am. Uh... I think you're funny. Thanks, mate. Funny looking, huh? No, no, I'm joking. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is episode one, podcast one, the yeah. start of uh, our audio journey together. Um, yeah. Have you ever been on a podcast before? I, well, I mean, we did like a couple of, I wouldn't really call them podcasts. Um, we did like a couple of episodes towards the end of last year where we talked about like festival season and stuff. But that was more just like a discussion I suppose that's what a podcast is. In at the end of the day, it's just a discussion, but it was more like centered around a specific topic rather than just this, like like a kind of chat that we're having now. Well, when this sort of journey started, really, it was just me sending you random clips from our nights out, and it becoming, uh, yeah, you know, catalog of well edited by yourself, sir. Thank you. Um, video diaries and every per time you go to a theme park you usually buy sometimes whether it's good bad or just pure hilarity the picture from the ride yeah you you gave our nights out a souvenir when you mm. filmed a lot of these videos um and it's always just been about that really just checking out yeah and looking back because we all did so much looking back during the pandemic and I think we realised that all of those people who said, ah, you, sh you shouldn't film a concert, were kind of thinking, I wish I'd filmed that concert yeah. a bit more. Yeah. Know? And that's like, um, some people do say, you know, like, 
like I had a comment the other day saying, "Well, you're not watching it live. You, you're watching it through your phone." Now, when I when I when we're filming gigs, I'm what I'm doing when I'm when I'm filming a show, a little bit of behind the scenes stuff here. I'm filming like this, right? I'm watching the stage, but I've set up the shot in a way that I know, right? That's going to film the stage. Now, unless there's like the a 0. zoom, five, yeah. Well, I unless lens. there's like a unless there's like a zoom that I need to focus on f to like make an impact in the video, and I'll kind of just go and you know and check the crew. But I'm still watching the show. I just, I've just realised immediately that that action that you just did for anyone listening, no idea what you just did there. No, it's true. A... I just basically I've just got the camera panning, next to my face, panning across to your yeah. face as as if it was like a third eye. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, there's two lenses, so there's like four eyes. You know, it's like. <laughs> but that, but that's what I mean. Like, I I can still watch the show live, and get the footage that we need for the videos, and it's only really when I... if there's like a specific decision that I want to make that goes into the video, it's only then really that I take my eye off off the show. Do you know what I mean? I, the, I, I always have a rule where if you can imagine your phone's not like a phone, it's a big sign. And I've, you've probably seen videos all over the internet of people who hold up signs and then they're blocking the view of the person behind and they get yeah. destroyed, broken, trashed because, you know, we've all paid to see a show and you've taken that away from someone. Mm. Um, once I get to like the minute mark, that's when I look at it and I think I've got most of this really yeah. like I start to feel awkward that it's been up there for that long. And like, to be fair, sometimes, yeah, I am, I am a zoomer. Like you can tell I zoom in very, very close. Yeah. Uh, with, oh, not like Gen footage. Z. Not like Gen, I it's, thought you meant like zoomer, like Gen Z. I was like, you're, you're older than me. <laughs> I mean, I, I properly zoom in to film the acts. Like I, I love to make complete use of the fact that it, it's very good now to zoom in from afar mm. and yeah you can always tell because i've gone straight in there i couldn't do the whole just watching from the side but i like that sometimes it is only a 20 30 second clip of a song yeah. rather than here's the four minute long yeah. version of and i think you know, the thing that filming the of... whole of bohemian rhapsody that's just silly like yeah and i think the thing that we've got down now as well especially with some of the bands that we go and see quite a lot of um like shikari i know the musical cues for shikari so if i'm filming a shikari show i know that okay last chorus for live outside is when the cannons go off i i only need 10 <laughs> i only need 10 seconds of that for the video so i'm gonna go hold the phone up gonna live outside bang cannons go off 10 seconds phone away again do you know what i mean like and that comes with you know Obviously, we we go to a lot of shikari shows, which we'll talk well, more about in a bit. That but does, that does come with with uh, repetition when mm. it comes to uh, shikari shows, and it also, uh, you know, it comes with you know being in the right place at the right time. Yeah. Um, and I think the interesting thing about you know that that band, aside from the fact that they are the reason I know you, that's how we we met. You yeah. know, is through the the Enter shikari family. Mm -hmm. um as it was but the um the, the the great thing about that is every set can be potentially different it's chopped changed mashed about mm -hmm. you don't necessarily have the same run of songs every night or even know what to expect every night and that's always worth seeing through your Sometimes eyes rather they'll than change that. the set when um, we ask them to that's yeah i think that's another interesting thing is yeah. is and a lot of bands are doing this recently the old uh you know magic eight ball from fallout boy yeah. the kind of extra like fan request session of the set where it, it keeps artists on their toes if they've got that little ability well not that little ability because it's incredible to mm. have to learn and master all of the songs that some bands have but to just add an extra one that makes it feel like going to that show was super special. Then yeah. that's yeah, what a treat. Like they're the shows that stand out, yeah. aren't they? When you're like, oh my god, I can't believe they played that song, and then you find out that yeah. they haven't played that song on any other show on the tour. <laughs> it was all for you. It was yeah. all for you. <clears throat> I um yeah, I, we have a lot to thank that that band for, and of course mm -hmm. uh, a big big UK tour 
coming up soon but there's lots of things this year that we've got planned and i think it's quite exciting to look forward and see exactly what some of those things are but also remember that you know you you've started this year changing your your name like youtube yeah. wise at least <laughs> yeah no yeah i mean my name is now gibby legally that's well I'm legally okay that's two, two, um two no, but, but the channel name as well yeah which i, I mean <clears throat> i won't go i won't go too long on it because i did a video about it um towards the end of last year but basically the idea now of the channel is so when like when we were talking before about just recording the stuff we did on nights out like that's why it was called gibby's digital scrapbook is because it felt very much like a kind of coming out of lockdown i just wanted to have those memories and put them together in like an entertaining way where you know similar to the way like the how how bo burnham got started on youtube it was like i just wanted to send them to he wants to send a video of him doing a song to his brother i just wanted to send the clips that we had from stuff that we were doing edited well together send them to friends where we could all watch them on youtube and then yeah. that kind of grew into well why why don't we go and challenge ourselves and go and do other things um not for the purpose of making a video but like why don't we try and make a, a better a better and better video while we're doing these things and then over the course of 2023 well, over the course of 2022, when we were doing the festivals that like we went to Reading and stuff, I think that's where I really found like a love for, for video Malta. making. Malta. Yeah, we and Malta, Malta as well. Yeah, coming up on two years ago. Can't believe it. Um, wow. But, but doing those things, I was like, I actually really love doing this. And then in, in 2023, um, you know, like we saw a lot of new people join and it kind of got bigger and bigger. We went to Eurovision, um, me and Tasha. And, you know, we went to five festivals last summer. We we were very fortunate to be invited to Bloodstock as guests. What a time to go to Eurovision because you're in Liverpool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I am very much not. I'm down here on the south coast of Bournemouth, sunny, mm. sunny Bournemouth, which uh, is freezing, freezing cold at the moment. Um, but, yeah, we've been filming these nights or you've been filming these nights, editing these videos together and realising that, it went from just us watching them back thinking, yeah, that was fun. Yeah. So people uh, actually using them as informative portions of yeah, knowledge like, and saying hello to you and myself at festivals, which is really weird. I, I could not believe that when, like, at Download uh, last year, when we got stopped by people and people were like, oh, you know, I really enjoyed your videos and I, I, I've took some of your, your tips on board and we've, you know, really, like, that means the world to me like I don't, I don't i think i've said this before but i don't think people really get it is like to stop me at a festival and ask for a photo yeah because you've enjoyed i mean my my tips video disgusting that they would do that especially when you're gonna already be late for a band uh do it on the move people you need to do it yeah on no, the I'm, move he's joking uh, <laughs> he's joking stop stop us whenever please uh, I, but add trees as well and you know getting to meet people and and just having a chat with people is 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 it's one it's what festivals is all about but two it's hopefully what this channel is all about as well and going out and you know traveling places and doing new things and meeting new people um well it's yeah i mean ultimately the fan base that is in um a lot of the festivals that we go to um maybe exceptionally not including reading and leeds fest in that uh but a lot of them that we do go to the fan base is so brilliant not at just at the festival <laughs> but in a kind of offline way to like mm. you know check in make new friends and stuff and if it wasn't for that kind of appreciation for in, the, in our case a band mm. um you know we wouldn't have the the friendship and the the memories that you know yeah. i'm grateful for you filming most of them because it is sometimes the most reminder i need for like what did i do last night yeah. why does my head hurt so much oh it's because i front flipped off that bin thanks mate <laughs> thanks for filming that <laughs> you know it's it's like it's yeah it's been so fun and to have now uh a podcast element um is going to be quite fun because i've also never done a podcast before mm. so I mean, here's we... to our first cheers podcast. to us yeah you're on the beer <laughs> i'm on the black juice 
it is it is january after all it's not that i'm it's um, not that i'm doing dry january it's just well one i'm poor and two i'm up early for work tomorrow but <laughs> I yeah. started with good intentions, but then there was that pretty incredible Bring Me the Horizon UK tour yeah. with uh, Static Dress, Cassia, and um, Bad Omens. Bad omens. Uh, how was that for you? I loved it. I mean, I, I maintain that Bring Me the Horizon is um, one of the best live... The, the, their set at download is one of the best live shows I've ever seen. And then for them to bring that to, like, on the arena tour with, you know, with like the kind of AI thing and the the, the everything the that's on the screens, yeah, was and incredible. Yeah, it's just like I I've been. I mean, I used to hate Bring Me the Horizon. I was one of these like elitists, you know, who, who were like, oh, they're they're rubbish, like whatever. Um, and then Semper Eternal came out, like, and like everybody else, I changed my mind on them. But ever since then, I I would say now that they're my second favorite band behind Shikari and. I was always oh. like Shikari and Avenged Sevenfold. I might, you know, um, that, nothing bad about Avenged Sevenfold. It's just like I'd, I'd rather if you, if you gave me the choice of listening to them on shuffle. I think right now at the minute, I'd rather say Bring Me the Horizon. But to see them put that much effort into a live show and become arguably the biggest rock band in the world at the minute is is amazing to see them grow that much. It was really strange for me to see them support Fall Out Boy in the States and then, you know, do that right after headlining download. But mm. yeah, this January tour was um production wise something else. Um and it felt like sometimes that did overwhelm the rawness of the actual show that I was watching because as a band they were smashing it. But Ollie was engaging with the crowd more like I've ever seen before yeah. um, and it didn't there was elements of it that didn't feel like it was an arena <clears> tour <throat> um, like it's obviously been um, heavily you know reported about the departure of Jordan and I didn't feel like mm. as much as he brought a lot to that band didn't really feel like he was massively missed yeah um, that's the, uh... and that's kind of that's going to be a tough tough one to uh to swallow pill wise because a lot of at least in my Bournemouth day, I'm sure you got it too, they were recording elements of the album which still heavily yeah. delayed. Yeah. Was sounding from the preview clips like it's going to absolutely be one of the best Bring Me Your Horizon records ever released. Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, just from those snippets you can tell it's gonna I mean I'm I'm hoping that it's gonna stick mm. the, I'm hoping that it's gonna stick the landing because if the clips are anything to be believed, it's gonna be definitely like top five albums of, of the year. Um, I hated them too, though, uh, yeah. at the start. It was definitely like a, pre a previous partner of mine got me into the drop dead clothing line. And then that kind of explored my like in depth knowledge of the band. And I definitely, from that's the spirit onwards, I'd say Sep Eternal was still. Uh, you know for me not kind of ticking the the boxes but on a sort of revisit i got it a bit more it felt easier to start off listening to them as a kind of not like screamo band but definitely a rock band mm. becoming like more radio friendly and then go back and, and crave that rawness of the first few records yeah but that's what made i think the Nolta thing that we did a couple of years ago where they played the old school set so special because yeah <laughs> we we really really got the whole bring me the horizon on that, that weekend was, that was the selling point for me um when when me and izzy decided to get tickets it was like yeah the you know the, the... it was also the first moment you stuck a camera <laughs> in my face and went you don't mind me vlogging do you and i was yeah. like while the camera's was a rolling that, yeah while the camera's rolling there was a part of me that wanted to just be like Actually, I, I, yeah, I, yeah, uh, but it's, but because I'm stood here by what was it, Caf, Cafe Del Mar? Cafe Del Mar, yeah, the pool party. Yeah, yeah, uh, and 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 was was very taken aback by it. But now, if you come up to me and you're not recording, it's weird. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what are you doing? We just had a really good, uh, really good hug there. Um, <laughs> you're not even not even filming it. Well. No, but th those pool parties were like 
that and then the um like the 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 throwback set the heavy set is like their memories that are going to stick with me forever do you still to this day regret not getting the mutilated in malta shirt that they saw at the moment i do yeah Um, i I got i did get a t-shirt but i regret not getting the the mutilated in malta one but still still think about it still think about it yeah um but yeah i mean uh aside from uh myself and you we've also um got sam is he an owl uh that will be um joining us uh throughout episodes um mm. you will have seen them on the youtube uh and you can follow the youtube which is youtube.com forward slash the alt vault yeah well technically it's the alt vault yt because it wouldn't let me just god have damn it i knew it was gonna be wrong because i just led with it i didn't properly you know, know it and i was waiting I was literally waiting for you to just go, it's not that. Uh, yeah. I, I appreciate the attempt at the plug. But... Right. Would you, well, would you, would you like to okay. plug the Instagram I, or do you not know that I, one either? You know what? I'm not confident enough. <laughs> uh, I don't think now, based on the fact that you haven't got the alt vault alone, I don't think you've got the alt vault on Instagram. But I'm going to probably say it's. Uh, no, what would it be? Would it be the alt vault Insta? Is that what you do? No. We actually get the alt vault. We got the dot alt dot vault. Ah, uh, so you're close. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, so if you want to go uh, over there and, and follow, um, basically any like news of stuff we've got going on, we'll be going up there yeah. and stuff like that. We will, and uh, we've got a lot of fun things that we're doing this year. And mm-hmm. it'd be great if, aside from watching us do them, you can also hear the real time that the event was like uh audibly <laughs> that was when you, okay. when you when you're trying to hit the word count in an essay yeah, would you like I, to listen to the real thing of what really happened with the real yes. times you can do things that are actions that affect movement and yeah. things that are also things and watch with your eyeballs at the things that happened yeah. on the screen but no, we, we've got we've got quite a lot of things coming up this year that um, I'm just looking at the calendar there now off off screen. Um, what thing are you most excited for this year? Vegas. The, the, just so last year, me and you went away, didn't we? We went to Hamburg. And we the, did. And the yeah. year before that, uh, we went to Malta. And yeah, I kind of have it in my head now of like I want to go abroad somewhere different every year. So we've so done. That does we, mean that every year that I've met you, you've been on a plane with me. So it it does only yeah. make sense that yeah, you know. So I I kind of want to keep up that trend of let's go somewhere different every year, huh? somewhere abroad. Um and Vegas, like I've always wanted to go to Vegas, but I've never. It's not just Vegas, though, is it? It's no, the, it's when we were young. Yeah. festival. Yeah, it is that. But we it's are going the for... heaven of emo. <laughs> yeah. But I think I've always wanted to go to Vegas, but I've never had like, I mean, I've had a reason to go because it's Vegas, but I've never had like a, an event that will go, right, I need to just commit to this and go, you know, and I think making that decision when, when me, you and Sam to, to pull back the curtain a little bit, when we had that group call, uh, being like, right, are we getting tickets now? Are we getting hotels sorted? We, and we just kind of went, yeah, let's, let's do it. Let's commit to it. And then when the tickets went on sale, thankfully you were, you were able to get them. Don't know if it was because I was actually in America at the time uh, of booking those, but it was just such a relief to do um, it. Like, and and no, because I've been fortunately enough to when we were young every year, 2022 and and, uh, last year with Blink and Green Day. And it's very jealous by the way. As fun as it looks. And and that's why I've been very excited to, uh, you know, introduce you guys to it because yeah. um yeah it's going to be very fun mm. but um yeah we've also also got other festivals like We're doing, slam dunk uh, i'm not doing slam dunk this year only because um well I'm, I'm not committing to it only because i'm trying to save money for vegas um okay. we, we did an episode yeah. last year about talking about you know the slam dunk controversy and stuff and i said in that video that i really wanted to go this year and um and see the changes because there's no point just moaning about something if you're not gonna, oh. you know, if the festival's gonna go out of its way to make those changes and try and do better, 
we owe yeah. it to the festival to at least uh, you know accept that and and to um to give them a second chance and so it's not i'm not mm. going because i've I'm not going because of what happened last year. I'm not going because I just can't afford it. But, you know, come May time, I might just go, yeah, go on. And I probably will. I mean, I, I would say that the thing I'm probably most excited about is is happening literally next month. Um, the, uh, you know, Enter Chicago UK Arena Tour, which is yeah. bonkers. Yeah. Um, some big, big rooms that those boys are filling. How many, how many dates um, are you doing on that tour, Jamie? I'm doing uh, I'm doing all of the dates on that tour. Wow, uh, never a guest. And, uh, yeah, I am uh, rapidly approaching. I need to do my math, but I am rapidly approaching 200 Enter Shikari shows, uh, which is ludicrous. Um, oh, since seeing them in 2007, uh, respectfully, obviously living in the UK, very easy to so um, 17 years see them yeah um yeah, yeah. uh <laughs> that's why when you hear those <laughs> songs from uh you know those first albums you really do feel like you've grown up with those songs but yeah. um yeah there's a lot of lot of fun things that we're doing and um it's going to be very fun to uh to take this this journey i mean mm. try and follow us on all the socials i'm saying them wrong but try and find them <laughs> and uh they'll be in the also, description below this video yeah. don't worry I'll um, make sure wherever you are listening to this uh you know message us mm. talk to us we like to hear from new people rather than just being stopped on the way to bands and festivals <laughs> uh but yeah. it's very very nice to hear everything good or bad um whether you think you know gibby has a messy room in the background of his camera or whether you think that look the posters uh, fell off I the wall. okay that's that's what that's about the posters i tried those like glue glue strip things and they fell off the wall and nearly damaged the frames uh, so they're just kind of I'm until a, I can get a permanent... I'm a command boy command strips all the way yeah I'm, I'm not gonna I don't know what the brand was so I'm not gonna you know dish the brand but they're on the floor until I can find a better way to get them on the wall because it'll look nice <laughs> when it's done you know having all the download posters well yeah there. most posters are better hung up on the wall well, than just yeah, on the ground you know what I mean though it looks a bit naff just kind of having two of them down there and six of them up there, but that'll be sorted soon. Um, well, but we, it's you know, good to have it's good to have goals. Yeah, well, you know, apart from the um, apart from like the trips we're doing, there are like a lot of different kinds of videos coming this year. Um, obviously, we've got that's true. That's like true. the likes of this where we have a sit down, and not all of them will just be two of us. It, like as you said before, there's Sam and izzy and al as well and um everyone's got the great thing about this group is that everyone's kind of got different perspectives on things and we don't even though we have a lot in common we do have different opinions on on certain issues and certain bands and stuff like me and you have very different opinions on on some bands uh yeah avenge sevenfold being one of them uh, until recently the 1975 being another I can't believe I can't <laughs> believe I start singing along to them now when they come on. I mean, at you. what point does it stop being a, a guilty pleasure when you just go, oh, I like them? Um, is it, but is it like the whole Nickelback thing where it's like not cool? I like Nickelback. To potentially no, I, like I, them. I'd rather admit that I like Nickelback than I like the 1975. <laughs> I just I never well, thought I never thought I'd, I'd I'd hear myself singing along to you know. Chocolate. Yeah, yeah, you have to, you have to, you have to grow, don't you? Well, grow we we are, and grow we are very grateful for because, of course, this has all happened very quickly on YouTube thanks mm. to yourself, Gibby. We've um we've seen you know people watch our videos that generally just stumble across them, and we've seen people uh, actually want to stick around and find out yeah. where we're going to be, what we're doing, and what we're up to, and that's kind of cool. So uh, thank you very much for watching. If yeah. you've ever watched, thank you very much for listening. If you're listening to this and you made it this far, because you probably haven't got the link right, because <laughs> I've probably said it wrong. Um, but yeah. Sabotage. Yeah, we, uh, we are uh, part of the Alt Vault, and we're very happy that we're alive. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's, um, you know, as, as well as these kind of podcasts, 
I just want to kind of give give a bit of a shameless plug um, because we'll, we've got like a couple of like video essays that I'm currently working on and you know there's things going on in the background or the other kind of like interesting videos to because obviously like we go on all these trips and stuff but as you said before you're down you're down in Bournemouth I'm up in Liverpool so when when people see those videos I, I've doing never stuff, actually been to Liverpool either which no. is going to be well you did exciting. once but you it was you slept on mm, the floor that's and kind then... of I don't count that because mm. like I don't know like Elvis for instance when he he'd never been to the UK yeah I am talking about Elvis Presley okay. don't you look at me like that Elvis has touched down to refuel for about half an hour right in the uk other than that he never ever entered the uk mm. like officially i don't count myself as going to liverpool because i just dropped you off after a gig and it was it was the night yeah and i didn't yeah you, i don't count that i'm not counting okay that. okay otherwise that's like what did but you does that mean liverpool? that i've never Darkness. does that does that mean that i've never been to italy because i only stayed in in milan airport I don't. Portugal. If you've not left the airport, I don't think it counts. But I saw the Alps. What from from like the window? The postcard from the, the from, from the window I, from the terminal. I count it as being. I had a pizza. All right. I that count. I count that as going to Italy. <laughs> okay. Um, right. I, Actually, I no. We did don't. leave the airport. We did leave. Sorry, we did leave the airport because Izzy went for a smoke. And we stepped outside the airport into the taxi rank. Boom. I don't think seeing the Alps from the airport, because technically that means that if you could see something from a plane from afar, you've then seen that country because you've seen it with your eyes. That's, I don't yeah. think that's how it counts. Okay, that's fair. Like, Although we did fly over Africa, so I am saying that I've... If you do a helicopter tour of the Grand Africa. Canyon, have you seen, do you think you've seen the Grand Canyon? If you fly over the Grand Canyon, in a helicopter, it's a uh, yeah. it's a canyon, so you've seen it, yeah. yeah. What is what are you gonna are you gonna yeah. walk through the bottom of the Grand Canyon? Isn't that unsafe? I don't. I'm not saying yes, never. No, I mean, like I've done it from the bus tour point of view, where you get picked up, taken oh, by the Hoover Dam. You see the time crossing. You go over into uh, Arizona. No, I don't know. Yeah, you, know, you, leave you, know, you know more about America in, than me. You go into Arizona, uh, and then yeah, you see the Grand Canyon, but you get off the bus, and then you explore it by foot. Do you do you count just flying over a place, visiting it by plane? Um, not no, not not by plane. If you're on a commercial flight somewhere, then no. But I'd say if okay, you're on, your if phone you're... signal. Picks up a text, say, "Oh, welcome to Nigeria," and you have you've only just flown over it and caught the bars. Um, do you count that? No, but then I don't. I don't think that having good. A... No, but if you've set foot in a place, like that's not me. Me, me being in the airport isn't me flying over Italy. That's me being in. Like we spent like twelve hours in that airport on the layover. Mm. Like, but. We... Um, from your passport's point of view, you haven't you haven't been in that country. We did because we got it we got it stamped in Italy. Yeah, when we stopped off in while you were changing flights. Yeah, that's strange. I didn't think that happened. Yeah. Okay. Well, um, and in Portugal as well on the way yeah. back. This is this is to Malta anyway, by the way because we had to. Anyway, we've completely digressed for the fact that I've never been to Liverpool. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> we're talking about the Grand Canyon <laughs> and the Alps. Sorry. Yeah. But a place that's equally as beautiful as those is Liverpool, so you need to come up sometime. Okay, okay, I will. We'll have a proper night out, and we'll film that would it. Be fun. And we'll film it for a video. That would be fun. Um, of course, there'll be heavy, uh, heavy editing uh, of most of it. Probably. Yeah, you want you want to see some of the clips that I took out of the uh, the Hamburg video. And that's the end of the podcast. <laughs> uh, lovely to speak to you as always, mate. And you, yeah. Can't wait for the Shikari tour. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It's yeah. going to be fun. And if anyone's at See any of those dates, we are at, uh, well, Jamie's going to be at all of them. I'm going to be at Leeds and both Manchester's. So That uh, includes you, Scotland. That's what makes it a UK tour. Mm -hmm. Come on, Scotland. It's going to be a good one. If we, if we manage to uh, if we manage to sort it out, we're going to Dublin as well, hopefully. 
We are. Well, we are. We are going to Dublin. We are. As of um, as of now, we are. But hotels and flights and yeah. that might get in the way. But as of now, we are going to the shows. That's 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 fine. We uh we will by hook or by crook be going to Dublin. Uh, it's a shame that we can't bring Shane with us because as a mm. half oh, Shane, Irish, no Shane is coming. I think we have a well, full Irish. Yes, he is. I think he's planning on coming. Oh well, there we go. Yeah. Proper proper Irish knees up. See, Shane's That'd never be been good. in a video either. So that'll be his first appearance. Well, um, that'll be very fun. Mm. And uh, I'm very, very excited. It's going to be a fun year. It is going to be a very fun year, and I cannot wait. I'm out of, I'm out of beer. so um, I have still juice, so I'm fine. <laughs> I'm going to love you. Love you and leave you. Yeah, but, uh, I'm going to leave you. Not love Bye. you. No love you. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye, everyone. All the best. Hi, everyone. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. If you want to see something similar to this, then you can click on the link here. If you want to see something very different to this, then you can click on the link here. And if you haven't subscribed already and you want to, you can click on the link here. If you want to come and follow us on social media, you can click on the links in the description down below. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.